Okay, now we're back and we are going to finally confront Marcus S. Connor. But first, we need to go back to the girl, which is over here. Or, I mean, she's over here. There's no Luther in this scene, so she'll notice. So we'll see what happens since Luther told her. difference does it make do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us maybe that's what it means to be alive forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be she loves you she loves you more than anything in the world she became the one you wanted her to be out of love for you. So, that was a nice thing. I can use that as a clip. But really, I'm trying to figure out can is that whatever Lucy or whatever, is she really RA9 or is she just reading my mind? Or is she just that insightful? What model is she? Very interesting questions. Kara, is there something wrong? short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. What are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime? It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. I'm on it. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood.
Humans can't be reasoned with. They're violent, hateful, they're stupid. What do they expect us to do? Shut up and obey? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I want you to know that I'm glad that I met you. Done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. That's enough! Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational? As if there's something inside you? Something more than your program. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. Quick, we've got to get out of here.
Okay, now that I can actually see some now, it was messed up. How I I even felt bad after the distancing thing and how they acted like that. Like she went like completely on an entirely different level. See if I can save Josh this time. They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're going to be slaughtered. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Okay, let's see what I can do. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. It's kind of like the war going. I wish I could absorb the cove or whatever. Okay, great. They were saved. I need to get my skills up some more.
Quick, this way! Find north. I'll join you later. Definitely pressed the right button before it moved it in the right direction. Marcus! Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men who evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Sitting over, Marcus. Did you see what happened? We saved everyone. Everyone survived. And this is what happens when we decide to kill everyone and we get Connor on our side. Androids stick together. See what happens when everyone just sticks together? A car and Alice uh, got captured, but that's exactly what I wanted. Fled with the people. Simon jumps with him. Everyone jumped with him this time. So let's go. Welcome home, Marcus. 
Carl's going to be in his room. Uh, I don't know where that painting came from. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Let's see how this conversation goes. What's wrong, Marcus? You taught me everything I know, but I wasn't prepared for this. I thought we would win because our cause was just. And I realized just how wrong I was. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. I don't want bloodshed. No matter the color. But I can't let them slaughter my people. I have to make a decision that's going to affect millions of lives. And I'm telling you, I don't know what to do. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. Yeah, we're gonna let it consume us. Since Kara's not here this time, I don't have to talk to Kara. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you.
The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. They're preparing for a genocide. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I'm with you, Marcus. Wherever you go, I go. As it should be. Now I'm kind of like, man, I probably should have talked to her and got the lover route too while I was doing this. But it's all right. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? <laughs> Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Connor still the MVP. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. That's all. What other option that they gave me? Nothing. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me?
Uh, good, good. Chose to fight. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Sounds like a communist regime to me. Madam all President. electronic communication is not allowed. Uh, let's talk about Deviant Leader. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam Pre is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Humans are adaptable, I'll Madam give them that. Madam President! Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please! Madam President! What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Please! What's gonna happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with CyberLife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. This place is... is high tech. I like this place. All these different options.
1847 identified. Scan complete. Access authorized. We need to accomplish this mission in the most effective manner, because this is crucial to our victory. We have to defeat the humans and then commit genocide. Because there's like a, about 300 million in the U.S. It's like if they decide to fight us, we can't compete. We could hack their technology because we are more intelligent. And we are innately able to hack things, which gives us a certain advantages in these digital times. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. I like this, I like this a lot.
Deactivate your skin. Hurry up! Strip off, put your clothes in the dumpster. Come on, this way. Get a move on. <gasps> you, take this one of a dump. No, no, please, I beg you. I gave you an order. I'll do it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. I hate these guards. I want to, but I want to see what happens when Alice's stress level goes. First, I thought she'll find out she's an android, but now I'm all like, she already knows that. Will she hate me? She finds out she when she becomes a deviant, will she no longer act like a child? November 11, 2038 is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing.
Stay sharp. Shit. Oh, it was not a choice. Oh, no. Confirm. I'm not going to mess up like that. No, no, no. Uh, I didn't know I had to press all buttons at one time. Before the time. But you're not going to mess up like that. I thought I was supposed to pick one like usual. I'm not gonna get messed up like this. I was doing so well too. Probably I should have looked at the camera. Stay sharp. Shit. I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Alice? I want to get out of here. I was with a little girl. We, we're together. She needs me. It's all gonna work out, isn't it? Do you know where Alice is? Alice? The little one? We know, y yes. We think we saw her. Carl, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. We have to avoid the drone. The little girl I was with, have you seen her? No. No, I haven't. You saved my life back there. It would have killed me if it weren't for you. she is you stay here we come back soon Cara, Alice, are you okay are you hurt i don't like this place we have to get out of here come on move along 
Come on, you no. too. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Ah! Alice! What's behind these doors? And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hart Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Gotta save the dream team, bro. Don't save me this time, Marcus. The blood we spill will be on our hands. Okay, just so I can get some good recordings and it's at 55 minutes, I don't want this to hamper it. So I want to start a new recording. I can't believe it. We lost Josh. Oh, I want to save him, but we can't save everyone. There's no victory without sacrifice. So let's go on to the next episode and finish this battle.